What's up, YouTube? This is G-Man coming at you. We're, at, we're back with episode number 19 of my response to Mr. Sungenis and, or Dr. Sungenis um, and Kent Hovind, uh, Flat Earth, Flat Wrong, and I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to tread back. I'm going to tread on my uh, course a little bit that I've already traveled. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is cover, I, I, let's, let's get right into it. I want to cover this. A log can roll, as you've seen them fall down from mountains. So, you know, anyway, that's how intricate this whole thing can become. Uh, and I hadn't seen anybody else do this with the scripture. Go into the intricate details into the Hebrew language and, and explain it to the flat earthers so that he can come away and say, okay, I was making too much of an argument on those verses and I shouldn't make that conclusion. Uh, yeah, so... I want to say that he's right that no one, I haven't heard anybody go back to the original Hebrew with the word Kador and the word door. Uh, that's correct. But I do want to say that Rob Skiba does go into intri intricate detail on uh, the word circle of the earth and Chuk. And uh, he, I believe he um, really um, proves that you know, the Bible is definitely talking about a circle and not a sphere. Okay, so even without that verse, the word Kador, um, the the word Chug still represents the word circle. Okay, so I typed in Circle of the Earth, Rob Skiba, into YouTube, and I came up with a whole bunch of different videos that are just on this topic alone that Rob Skiba has made. One video is called... Kent Hovind, the King James Version, KJ, the KJV Circle Ball and Flat Earth Testimonies. Neither Isaiah 40.22 nor Job 26.7 support the idea of Earth as a spinning ball. Theologians gone wild. Did Isaiah mean circle or ball, sphere, globe, or even a cylinder? Very interesting, very interesting. All great stuff. Okay, and they're all from Rob Skiba. So, he does go into intricate detail uh, about the word circle and chug, okay? So, um, I just wanted to point that out. And now let's uh, move the video up a bit to right here. And let's, let's keep going. For, uh, there's a big thing made about the corners of the earth, okay? So, and, and their, their objection is, well, the, a sphere doesn't have corners. And four corners is mentioned in many places in the Bible. Uh, Revelation, uh, Isaiah, you know, you name it. And so there, the, the first objection to that is, look, you have a disc. It doesn't have four corners either, does it? Okay. So what they try to do is they try, they try to draw a square around their flat disc. And they say, well, here are the four corners. But basically, what all they've done is impose four corners on a flat disc. And who says they can do that? There's a very popular picture out there, it's, it's almost 100 years old, where they've used that to, to demonstrate the four corners of the Earth. Uh, the other thing is, if you look up the word four corners in both the Hebrew and the Greek, uh, it does not always mean a corner like you just showed with your cube there. Actually, the word corner in Hebrew can mean a curved um, section. Uh, usually they would use a corner in uh, reference to a remote region of their land. Uh, or they could use it for something as simple as the curvature. You see my beard here, and how it curves down, okay? Well, they use the word corner for that as well, okay? So a corner... Okay, I think uh, we are well aware that the word corner does not actually mean a 90 degree angle. It doesn't have to mean that. It can mean it, but it doesn't have to mean it. Okay? Um, so, it, when, when, before we thought that the earth, we, before we came to the conclusion that the Bible was a flat earth book, we took the four corners to mean we knew it said the four corners and we always knew that it said four corners. And we oh and, and it says it several times throughout the Bible, but you know the four corners we always took it to mean the four cardinal directions: north, south, east, and west. 
you know, it's like, oh, well, there's four cardinal directions. That could be, that means four corners, you know? And, uh, you know, and, and that was generally everybody's response to that. You know, the best response that I had heard, I had heard, you know, to what the four corners were, you know? And, uh, well, the four corners, you know, they don't have to, he's right, they don't have to be four 90 degree, you know, sections, uh, 90 degree angles on, on a square, you know, with a circle inscribed in it, you know, they don't, I mean, they could, they could just, he's right, he's right, they could, but they could still be what the Bible says it is, the, the earth could still have four corners, whether he's right or not, just let the Bible speak for itself. The Bible says that we live, the, the, that God looks down upon the circle of the earth. The Bible says that the earth has four corners. Fine. Give it four corners. Give it a circle inscribed into four corners. The corners don't have to be 90 degree angle square block. You see? So, he's right, but, you know, being a little bit too, he's been a little bit too meticulous on that one. It did not have to have a 90 degree angle to it. All it meant was that the land bent. Somehow it bent. Either it could bend acutely like a square or it could bend softly like a curve. But that's what the corner basically meant. And so they could use it in a, in a multitude of ways in the Hebrew language. And the same with Greek, you see. So the, the flat earther has to be educated to that nuance of what the four corners really mean, and I don't think he's going to be using it anymore to prove a flat earth. All right, uh, it's the whole flat earth movement seems to be. No, I think we'll still be using it because we're. What do we? What do we do? We're going to let the Bible speak for itself. The Bible says that the Earth has four corners, and at this point, we take the Bible more literally than we ever have in the past. So, if the Bible says that the earth has four corners, that means that somewhere there's a four there there are four corners. He's right. They don't have to be 90 degree, you know, acute angles. But the corners are there. And they could be cur They could have some curve to them. No problem with that. So I, I disagree. Corners will continue to be used. Kind of new thing to me. Uh, I just finally heard about it, 2012 or 13 or 14, somewhere in there. Tell us what is the history of this? Why are people teaching this that the Earth is flat? It seems anyway. This is not something that's been taught all through the world history. So tell me what you think about that. Yeah, they, uh, they had a prior one about 2009, and about 2004, there was also a little revival, but the big one came in 2014. That's why the YouTube is just saturated with it. Well, tell us uh, how you got involved in this topic, and what qualifies you to say anything on this topic, your background a little bit. We'd like to hear about that. I, I personally have a very good position from which to judge this, <laughs> and that is because Wow, they, they're really asking these questions out of order. Whoever edited this video did a horrible job, in my opinion. And my, my producer also thinks this as well, and many other fans of my movie. Our movie came out in October of 2014. And that is a, a movie called The Principle. And it shows from scientific evidence that the Earth may be in the center of the universe. The flat earthers also believe the earth is in the center of the universe, except they believe it's flat. Okay? So it was the perfect time. There is no universe. Okay, so. I, some flat earthers. Okay, you can't speak for the whole flat earth community. Some flat earthers do not believe that we are enclosed by a dome. They, they don't believe in the firmament. They believe. Some flat earthers believe that we live on an infinite plane. 
okay? Uh, however, I am going along with it that we have a, that we are enclosed by a firmament. And on the outside of this firmament is liquid water. And we live inside of a giant bubble. So we are, uh, there, there is, and, and, and so outside the firm, and, and like, like I said before, how far are the stars? No further. They were, they were created on day four. I said in a previous video that it would be poetic if God created the stars and the light started emanating from them. And then, just as God created man, that's whenever the light finally reached his eyes. That's whenever light finally reached the surface of the earth from the stars. And all of a sudden, he created man. And either the moment he was created, well, if he was created during the day, then it would have waited till the nighttime. And then God would say, hey, Adam, come here, come here got something to show you. Look up. Then all of a sudden, Adam starts to see the stars as the light, you know, reaches the surface of the earth and reaches Adam's eyes, you know, for him to be able to take in this information. You know, I, you know, I said this in, in a previous video, you know, so the, the stars could be, you know, many, you know, two days away at light speed. So, two, three days away at light speed. Um, two days, 12 hours, whatever. Uh, so, th that's how far they could be. And, anyways, it the light would have had to been here, or the light would have, from the stars, would have had to been, been finally reached the earth by the time that Adam was created. So, there you go. That's how... That's how far, that's how high the stars are, and they're enclosed by a dome. There is no universe. Okay, G-Man out. I'm going to continue in the next video.